Hello friends, I'd like to talk about the report generation today. So there are uh, many open source libraries available which will make your life easy. So I'll be uh, talking about uh, a J, a JS uh, framework uh, which is called JSPDF. It's an open source uh, library created using JavaScript. So, so I'm going to integrate this uh, JSPDF into my UJS demo application. So and I'll explain you how you can uh, generate report using that. So it's pretty simple. So this is the JSPDF uh, documentation uh, you can check. So this is their NPM uh, package details. So, uh, so first you need to do like you need to do the you need to add the package to your projects. So basically, in package.json you need a JS PDF. So if you are using yarn, just use the command like uh, uh, yarn. Can like yarn add JS PDF or uh, yarn add JS PDF or like npm install jspdf iphone iphone save you can do okay and once you uh, enroll the jspdf library uh, you may need to add the type definition for the jspdf as well there is some time and if you are using the type script you may get some error message so to avoid that like uh, you can include the type definition uh, using like add types so if it's not available you can just do one thing you can just declare the module in a root uh, root path like this so then you won't get that uh, type error again okay so so this is my uh, reports component okay so let me show how it looks in ui so this is my reports part so i know like it will be a different requirement sometime you may need to pass the date and generate the reports or like there are there will be like many scenarios so that logic up to the user like and uh, and what has to happen like uh, you need to generate the report basically you need to get the data in some api and you need to pass it into the uh, the library and it will give you the uh, it will help you to generate the report so that logic uh, how to get the data that part i'm not explaining here so i'm just explaining how the data is getting binded to the report part so you generate the report and if you open it uh, the report look like this so so for to create this table i have included one more plugin called auto table so this is also another open source framework it is a plugin for jspdf so if you have more table related stuff you can use the auto table so that instance installation also same like you need to yarn add uh, like jspdf to your uh, project so it's js auto table to your project so let me go to my reports component okay so i'm including the jspdf and auto table so html nothing but just i have the like a report generation uh, the cards that's it so it's a pretty straightforward like flex cards i created okay and in uh, in so on click of report generation i am going to the download function so here i am creating instance of jspdf so here first you can pass the test line table whatever there are the the classes which are available in the jspdf all this thing you can use so this 10 10 which indicates the like x and y uh, like directions so you can create lines you can give the coordinates uh, like uh, x x1 y x1 y1 and x2 y2 so that's the way it is being created like uh, this first one 10 10 so it will be in that, in that particular position so you can specify the position where you want to place it so as i mentioned earlier like if you have, have table so always better to use the auto table so here in here you are passing the document 
which that is the JSPDF in instance and here you are passing the object body. So one good thing about uh, auto table is like you can directly pass the HTML uh, like, like if you have a HTML table you can just pass the, like, that uh, that uh, DYD that hash ID if you pass it will generate the table for you but he, here if you want to pass the data specifically so this is the part you are going to get the data from your API and extract it in the way we required in the uh, auto table so you need to get the head header details and body you need to pass the data so you can pass the data and form in the way it fit in that uh, report so that part uh, you getting the data from the API making the API and getting the data from the API and uh, pa passing it through the API will be explaining in another uh, session so so it's that's and finally you just save your report that's it so so then uh, once you launch the application uh, you will be able to generate the report okay i hope you understood uh, the report generation part so if you have any doubts or any questions you can comment so i'll look into that thank you